Somebody call the law. Somebody call the law. It got to be illegal for me to be so wrong. What up, though? Heist man, the foe talk that talk, ghetto news and opinions. Man, we're back at it again. Pop the balloon to find love, episode 21. I'm a little late with this one today, man. I've been getting construction done on my house, my bathroom, man. I have like the, the people fixing my bathroom, got a whole new brand new bathroom, but they've been in here and I can't, I can't record at the same time. So this is late. That's what I'm doing this on what? This is Saturday. Let's get right into it though, man. Pop the balloon to find love, episode 21. Y'all know how we do, man. We judge people. That's what we finna do now. We finna judge the females who they have on this program today. Look at this. It's all right right here now. So far, we gotta see. Let's get into it, man. Hold on. Oh, turn that down. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, okay. I like that little dress, the little autumn dress you got on, the burnt orange. You see what this is? Oh! She top heavy. She got some chinky eyes. She might grab you up. I don't know. Can I let? See that thing back there? Richard Doza. Oh, no, I'm playing. This one, Dwight Howard. No, no, I'm playing. I'm playing. Speaking of shoulders, Dwight Howard. Oh, I don't know. Come on, man. No, they're going to give us a commercial. Yeah, they wish they I had always do. Fifty donuts, like the sign says. It says seven hundred fifty dollars. All right, progress. Hello, everyone, and welcome back to my channel. Uh -oh. It's your host, Arlette, and we are back with another episode of Pop the Balloon or Find Love. And this time around, we've got some beautiful single ladies. Hey, boy, they got some bangs up there, boy. Some bangs up there. All right, so up we are going to be bringing out some single men one by one. When they come around this corner, if he's your type, you know, he checks all of your check boxes, whatever it is, do I'm not pop you. your balloon. However, anything he says or first know, impression, they all right. Fit, whatever it is, they start go talking. Ahead and pop your balloon if you aren't feeling They, they at bring themselves down a okay, level or two. Are we ready? Yeah. And some of them look all better right. as they talk so, too. Let's so go ahead see. and bring out our first single guy. First impression, a motherfucker. We'll see these chicks. Hello, welcome in. I'll have you hold that. What's your name? Oh, Lord, you My name is Troy, socks. and I'm 33 years old with a baby face. <laughs> oh, Lord. All right, you Troy, two lines in your head. I'm a family nurse practitioner with over seven years experience, and I also recently uh, started my own company, uh, Hotline Health. It's a telemedicine company geared Why towards are you uh, like men, that? but I'm qualified to help um, everyone. Mm. Okay. And I just uh, love being an entrepreneur and helping the community. And that's Sounds zesty. Very nice. Uh, what are some things you like to do for fun? Uh, mainly, I love to travel. Uh, mainly, of course, experiences uh, either in the Caribbean or Italy. I just love new experiences. I'm spontaneous. I'm also an adrenaline junkie. So either okay. from hang gliding, to hide uh, scuba diving, river rafting, jet ski. Um, and then basic, also like basketball. And, he got, he got uh, a fifth of way to him, man. I ain't calling the dude all the way out now, there. What are some things you look for in a woman? Uh, I look for, first and foremost, um, a Christian woman. I knew uh, it, see? Mainly, you know, love God. Um, another plus, is she does attend church regularly, like I do. Church. Uh, and, and also, if she can hold a note, um, you know, I love to sing. And so, to maybe do a little duets, you know, would be nice. Okay. And go from there. And mainly someone that do has a caring spirit and just a sweet person. Got it. Sweet. Now, what are some of your deal breakers? Uh, mainly someone who smokes, mm. um, and just not a pleasant attitude, and mm -hmm. someone. He didn't bit a pillow before be his life. I don't kill what nobody loves say. Loves to try new things and just have fun. Okay, all right. He well, might be trying to find him a girl for the first time movies, again. He's trying to get back out there or something. All right, definitely. All right, come on. Okay, we Look can have him, your man. name and age. Hi, baby face. My name is <laughs> Layla Elise. I'm 29. Okay. And Layla Elise, what do you do? I am a real estate investor, and I also just got into project management. Awesome. Okay, so why did you end up popping your balloon? You kind of So I really love your demeanor. Okay, thank um, you. Very calm, very welcoming. I feel very comfortable. Appreciate it. Unfortunately, we just don't align in terms of, like, the church, okay. you know? That's fair. Um, Who that, the damn woman don't king don't beside her? Okay. But, yeah, the church, that's a big thing we wouldn't align on. I think that's very foundational. It's yeah, very yeah, important. Man. Yes, yeah. Um, and then, yeah. 
All right. I respect that. Definitely. She's straight, now, though. Uh, Lily, someone that's your type. Yes, definitely. She's beautiful. I love yes, the color definitely. she has, you know, and it compliments her well. Thank you. Thank you. This and we did get one more woman down king. here. Let's head on over oh, she there. She's kind of stupid. Even had some babies by that okay, one over there. Okay, let's start with your name and age. Kendra, I'm 29. Mm -hmm. nice Kendra, to meet what do you do? I work in sports. I am the head of a marketplace for an NIL network. Okay, very nice. And now, why did it end up popping your balloon? Just not aligned religiously, but you're dressed so nice, Appreciate so attractive. It. Thank you. Thank yeah. you so much. Look at her, baby. And now, is Kendra someone that's your type? Yes, definitely. I like the accessories she has, you know, and I see she has style with the white shoes, so definitely. Thank mm -hmm. you. Yeah. All right, thank you. Let's head on back. All right, so we do still have quite a few balloons left unpopped. Y'all ain't going to call the dude. They ain't going to say the dude's zesty. Let's help you narrow it down, see okay. who's more your type. Definitely. So what would you say is one interesting or unique thing about you? yourself okay let's start right on over here if we can have your name and age first hi baby face i'm serena <laughs> and <laughs> i'm 29 okay and serena, 29. What do you do? um i work a regular nine to five i drive coach buses and also i'm a full-time student for pre-nursing awesome. there you okay. go <laughs> nursing connection yeah. Yeah. <laughs> question is, what's something unique about yourself correct yeah okay. unique or interesting about yourself um, she look something strong, interesting but... is that um i shoot pool and i work out I bet. Six, five to six days a week okay so. you look like fitness. it too yeah. <laughs> We need to have right some babies by her, man. Name and age. Maybe not Jordan, you. Jordan, I'm 27. LeBron should have had a baby by her. Do? I'm a therapist, and I also own a small business. Great. Okay. You want to just go ahead and answer this question? Yeah. So, um, aside from being a therapist, I'm really, really into herbalism. Okay. Um, so, I'm actually working towards becoming a registered herbalist, and I think that's okay. pretty Great. interesting. Awesome. Okay. A little Let's mysterious. What's going over here? Shot a vibe. Hi. My name is Candy, and I'm 29. Hello. Candy, what do you do? I am an HR professional, and I am also a travel advisor. Okay, good, yeah. good. And if you want to just answer his question. Absolutely. So um, one interesting thing about me is that I love travel as well. Okay. Um, so I think that's one of the things that we could really connect on is just being able to travel. Um, and I truly believe in living life and not just exist, just existing. So Definitely, 100%. I think that's oh, God, one of them really type. Experience life, For sure. So, yeah. Totally agree. Yeah. It's going over here. Check out these deals at the week at Walgreens. No Do zesty, man. Your name and age? I'm Tanisha. I'm 29. And Tanisha, what do you do? I'm a real estate agent and a part-time server. Okay. She had you young. Go ahead and just answer she question. had meek. So one interesting thing about me is that I actually like anime. Okay. And um, she's a nerd. And also you know pretty she, nerdy things. Right. Like You can say she's shy. Um, Lord of the Rings as well. <laughs> cool, cool. Everybody yeah. likes what they like. Yeah. <laughs> so that's what I like. Okay. Yeah. Awesome. Thank you. Let's go on to our last lady okay. over here. Your name and age. She's scared. My name is Naya, but I go by Naya Monet. I'm 26 years old. I'm in the beauty and wellness industry. And something interesting about me is I do modeling, acting, and music. Awesome. Okay. I love all things beauty. I'm actually getting a degree in that. I love helping people, making them feel beautiful. Like that mean, but that girl is that health and beauty and wellness is a commitment. Self care is really yes, important. Important. For sure. I do understand, and I love that you like to travel, and I like the way that you carry yourself as well. Brown so sugar. Much. Thank you. How come you taste so good? Back. Let's head on back. All right. Brown so, sugar. I you remember that commercial? Know, that the mosquito, pick. that Pepsi okay. mosquito. I say yeah, yeah, yeah. Balloons, yeah. So. <laughs> I watch all the clips and now it's, <laughs> it's your turn. Yes, yes, it is. Look at him. I watch okay, all the clips. So I'm going to have turn. you pop. If you went up there for a man, look, look how he stand, yo. One balloon. Yes, based off of what Correct. you see, what you've heard. You stand like this. Mean. Okay. You just. Okay, mm -hmm. all right. Why, do? Why did we end up popping her balloon? Um, just I love her style, you know, the black. Uh, mainly, I think just initially, just he's hand on this hip attraction. Okay, mm -hmm. okay, fair enough. But yeah, and I love the hair, the color, you know. I ain't judging this dude, man, but I'm judging this Thank dude, you. man. <laughs> Let's head on back. Okay, go ahead and hey, ask look in the camera on this, ladies. Look. Another question, okay. crazy. Come on, man. If you was to describe yourself slash your personality as an animal, what would it be? Wow. Let's start this down there and move okay. back. <laughs> All right. Let's start with you. 
I think that I would be a cheetah. Would be a cheetah? I feel like oh my God. I am majestic and She's like Oprah. Kind of fast Look at them big old feet she got down there. And got a whole lot of shoe on that foot. Okay. <laughs> So oh my for God. me, she might I be a freak, though. I'll be a bird, be a All right. um, because she probably, she I feel like a freak. I have a free spirit, and like I mentioned before, I really like to enjoy life, so I would say a bird. Definitely, like that answer. Um, over here, I would say a lioness because um, the lions are known to be the king of the world. <coughs> mm-hmm. But if you know anything about <coughs> them as creatures, um, <coughs> um, is actually really the homestead for us. Yes. <coughs> <coughs> I don't know how to Erica Badu vibe. I would say I'm a cat. You even trick and, nobody. <laughs> um, a cat because cats are very independent. Um, they love to sleep and love to eat. I love sleep and I love eating. And also, um, them the two cats sometimes. The first three like the best up there. But they come and they're they're very affectionate and they Definitely. come up under you. So I'm. What is the orange dress? Okay. <laughs> cool, 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 she got like a boom like an eight oh eight. What's that? Um, black. You, know, you remember that group? Say, can I answer? It too? Oh yeah. yeah. Can Let's I answer go it too? Yeah. So I would say that for me it would be more of like a bear. Um, I am Boy, a leader. Um, don't nobody date him, y'all. Culture, especially being in the healthcare field. And um, also... He gonna, he gonna date somebody, man. To even protect the home and my loved ones. Mm. So you gonna have a man at the okay, house, you nice. You gonna think this is his best friend from All college. All right, so off of these responses you've heard, let's go ahead and pop one of those balloons. Just one. Just one. Just, yeah, you know it's you. We sorry, shorty. <laughs> you in the All wrong... Right, look, might have ended up popping hers. I think she ain't ready. I love all your responses so far. Definitely, I think the she ain't ready for the show, especially with the anime and the things. I think just it wouldn't gel well with me. But you know, I love your smile. I love the pearls, um, and yes, I just think off of she, 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 show, she needs somebody now, just really like her. She need to find somebody at a damn that comic he has con. A really nice style. Um, his career is really intriguing, and I would Thank love you. to le- learn more about it. Thank but you. Um, yeah. Thank you. Now you need to get around you. your people, shorty. You're on the wrong show. Okay, we do have Probably three dope bride for somebody else. Left. These niggas ain't gonna be. Let's have you asked one final question? For that you got to take a nerd. One final question. Mm-hmm. Formulated man, with come on, man. and hyaluronic show. acid. New Elvive Hyaluronic Plus Pure. It dissolves Pure. oils and hydrates the links. Okay. Did you pick up an Ajodi lighter for my daughter? I got you. I think she's going pro uh-huh. at basketball. Thank you. you now we gotta watch right Patrick Mahomes and this. Seven foot tall. I'm like, man, I came with two. <laughs> Can I check my notes real quick? You have notes? Yeah. Oh, Y'all I have came notes. Ready? Okay. <laughs> Let's check those notes. Yeah, see, see so I'm, I, finding, I'm finding my y'all, this, today. I don't, y'all must be desperate, <laughs> man. Y'all, this, this y'all. This, Y'all want some out of him? Like this dude is zesty as fuck, man. Y'all can't tell. Okay, two part question. Okay, look at um, this dude's zesty. What are man. some qualities you look for in a partner? And what do you feel are some elements? Maxine Shaw over there got some legs on her. Okay, let's start on over here. Maxine Shaw. Um, some qualities I would look for in a partner is a man that's considerate, number one. Um, a man who has some sort of relationship with a woman figure in his life. Boom. Um, that, that shows me that, you know, you understand women and femininity. Um, somebody who is loving, who loves affection, a leader, um... A man with a plan. I love intentional man. Okay. And um, and the second part was qualities of a partner. Important things for a relationship. Correct. Yeah. Um, her stock rising. But comprehension along with some dude gonna seek her out. You can have great communication within the relationship all day. True. But it's about do you understand me when I'm talking, or do I understand you when you're talking? If it's something that bothers you, can I bring that to you, or can you bring it to me? Yes. And without. Um, this smart. And not every disagreement is an argument, so True. we're able to Damn. disagree with each other. Love that, yeah. yeah. She know. All right, let's hear from you. Somebody's going to get a good woman. I hope he don't so get it. I look for emotional intelligence in do- a man, and I know that's a very common phrase, um, and I think it's misused a little bit. Both of them right there, boy. It's about understanding your partner, but I also think a component that a lot of people Both miss of these is understanding your own emotions mm-hmm. and being able to articulate those and control them. Um, so emotional intelligence on both of those. I go ahead and pop the bitch in the red blue. Her blue look dirty anyway. Manhood is not grounded in anything external, right? Okay. I want um, a man who is confident in his manhood and who he is, yeah. regardless of me or anybody else. Um, and then I think 
to answer your second question, what's important to me in a relationship is obviously communication Mm -hmm. um, both ways um, and also uh, the ability to, again, communicate how you're feeling in a productive (coughs) way. Yes. Um, And then secondly, um, an ambitious man, Mm -hmm. right, Um, who's not intimidated by an ambitious woman. A lot. I'm a traditional woman, Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. right, and I find that a lot of traditional men, although I am looking for a traditional man, they often are intimidated by an ambitious woman. Spoken words. Yes. She needs to do spoken words, some some poems or something. Last girl here. Yes. um, So some of the things that I look for in a man is definitely compatibility. Um, I want to be able to have a friend uh, first and foremost in a relationship so definitely compatibility she don't need that um, she take that shit out of I hair I also look for um, she took that stuff out of hair qualities someone who has a relationship she with got God a cute face. so you mentioned being mm-hmm. in church and those types definitely. of things Cheekbones. I do a lot of uh, mentoring and tutoring of children um, she's way prettier than her, than her, her, her aesthetics is well. right now um, and then also emotional intelligence. So one that has already been mentioned. Yes, um, but for de- me, that's really women with degrees up here. Um, someone who they is speak able too to well. understand my emotions as a woman, understand my emotions as your partner. Yes. No. Um, but also understand your own emotions and how to regulate those in conversations or conflict and things like that. Um, so in a relationship, I think um, the biggest thing is uh, definitely emotional intelligence that thing and in that pink communication. Too. So again. Um, comprehending is a pit, man. I'm is telling you, man, the longer you look at him, the better. Like, first impression, so you're like, oh, oh, you know, oh. Both go hand in hand. Mm-hmm. For sure, they, they were the muscles. I looked at that first, and I'm like, oh, hell. Yeah. Those are good responses. They are. They are. If you look at it longer, <laughs> they they yes, they did. She is <laughs> All right, bad. so you do have to pop He's one bad. of their balloons. Oh, God, one. Red. Oh. <laughs> Oh. All right. Why did we end up popping her balloon? Thank God. So, for starters, I love the color. I love Thank the you. dress. Thank you. Um, mainly just out of the three Addressing remaining, me. I just feel like I'm more gravitating to them too. Okay. Um, but I do love the eye contact you gave when you're answering questions and things like yeah. that. All of those That's small a, a, a things look. I pay attention to. Uh, keep, I'm glad he didn't get now, back. Why did you have your balloon and pop for him? He's a very handsome guy. Carries himself well and know. speaks really he well. He manly enough for y'all. He ain't manly enough for you either. The outfit. I, I love for my man Thank to you. have, Thank you know, you. some nice and, you know, classic yeah. on. So I appreciate it. Yeah. Okay. All right. Our two remaining ladies. Even Any questions? Suave for like that. Okay. Let's start right Please here. Please go. I actually wanted to ask you to define in your own terms what it means to be a man. But since you already mentioned your religion, what does it mean to be a God-led man? What amazing ideas do you have a, buzzing around in your head? Um, Turn your ideas into reality. Hello, man, definitely. Um, so for starters, without Christ, you know, where would we be? And so mainly as a niggas in the church, as but as well as I've seen how God two lies in his head is nasty. blessed me along different trials that I've been through. And so one using him as the leader in everything that I do in decisions like he I clutches make, pearls like trips I want to go on oh or, my God. Uh, business ventures and so with well, prayer I, just, I and declare sometimes um, that's where I get the guidance that's how he look so he like he declare I see I that declare really important, you know and so you know I don't hate on anyone else who likes to do it on their own way but I know with me um, God is important and if I Christ in my life that I wouldn't be the level I am hey that's what's yeah. up man you got something to believe in man that sucker shit here? nah no. Nah. Yes. I have a lot of questions. But um what do you like to do for fun? So like I mentioned, you know, adrenaline, but so on a simple level, things of singing, doing a karaoke, um, sometimes church, playing board church games. Church singer, he played the choir. Uh, <laughs> going to like uh participating in a dance class, say like a Zumba or a hip hop class. You guys stand, so look. I'm definitely loving to look at him. I stand, y'all. And so I don't like just a boring, stagnant life. And you know, there's beauty in all things, and so yeah, that was, those are a few things to list. No, no. Okay. Yeah. All right. Do you go out at all or anything like that, as far as like a social life in that regard? Oh, oh yes, yeah. You know, oh, yes. a few of my family and friends label me as a social butterfly, okay. and so yes, I am more outside than not. A man would um, never call himself really a social a butterfly. I'm, I'm a social butterfly. Like, I just, it, yeah, that's not me, and so okay. I'm all for the social events and sometimes even planning things. <laughs> Outside or even church related to. I can't wait to see the comments. I didn't even look at the comments of this year. I gotta see the comments. Ooh, y'all came with all the heat today. <laughs> you some right. intelligent it answers. I gotta give them that. One of their balloons. Who are we gonna pop? Well, they're thinking that orange bag. One boy. last question. Just on where they live. That's all. Okay, let's do that. That's that's a, that's a simple enough one. All right, where do you live? 
I'm actually nomadic, so I, ah. like I said, I'm a therapist, but I work fully remote. Okay. So I travel. You better make me melt you. I'm currently staying in Texas. Okay. That'll only be for a couple more weeks. Okay. You don't know my name. So I am in North Carolina. North Charlotte. Carolina, you in Charlotte, Charlotte sir? North Carolina. I've yeah. been there as well. Yeah. Okay. I've been there as Where well. Are you? I'm based out of Phoenix now. Okay. Yeah, originally from New York, but I'm here now for the past okay. few years. Okay. Mm-hmm. She's out okay. nomadic. With that oh my god. Who are we popping? One key, one key question. It's, it'll be quick. No, no, it's not actually a question. Well, it's more of a statement. Please. please okay, please. okay, okay, okay. okay. <laughs> I have. Ooh. Oh. Ooh, thank God. Okay. Yes. Yes. Never mind that. I was just gonna say that I have a son. That's all. If it was a deal breaker for anybody, but that's it. Okay. Yeah. But we do. It. I'll come back. Actually, no. Let's let's go here first, and then we'll go to her. Okay. So why do we end up popping? Um, I. I understand there's a lot of beautiful women up here, yes. um, but I feel like when you get narrowed down to two, I want an intentional man. I, w- okay. I want you to be able to choose what, what's best for you. So That's fair. Yeah, I was just mentioning that I had a son. That's all. Oh, yeah. That's fine. Okay. That's fine. So now he did say he has a son. Is that a deal breaker for you? Uh, no. How old is your son? 18 months. God damn. Mm. Um, see... He he went with yeah uh, that might be uh I don't know he might have he might have donated young yeah and that's fair and that's why I wanted to mention yeah. he just did yeah. it. he just I don't have a problem with the kids see just, see that mean it was his first woman or some eighteen and months ago I don't know ago. that you have I, I any of that I was previously married for eleven insane. years but yeah there is okay. no toxicness okay. but I just yeah. wanted to mention yeah. that he was married for eleven years for the son so I I understand no judgment no for sure that's why I wanted to share. Right. Yeah. Okay. Let's head on back. Yeah, I just want to be honest. Yeah. Oh, we almost. I don't, I don't know, man. He got a story. I'm <laughs> telling you. I want to know. Make sure everyone understood. Right. I mean, I had a little song to sing from a match too, as well. But you know, I don't have one, so it's all good. We want to hear it. Nah, nah. It'll be when Arlette brings me back. When we bring you back. Correct. Okay. Okay. When you bring me back. Right, I sing. Well, that is all the balloons. I was saying he's such a diva. Go ahead and give it up for him. He's such a diva. <laughs> Thank you so much. <laughs> what are you doing? With it? You was married 11 years, but you got a damn 18 month old. Oh no. Born you in went got some ass. Try to prove that you wasn't cheating with a man. I'm making up all kinds of scenarios. I don't know. Okay, let's go ahead and bring out our next single guy. Mm-hmm. All right, let's see. Hello, welcome in. Let's see. I'll have you hold that. What's your name? How are you doing? Hello, my, na- my name is Jock. My name is Jock. 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 Like French. Okay, okay. Like French. Oh, and how old are you? I am 35, ma'am. 35 and what do you 35. do i am a cybersecurity engineer cybersecurity engineer yes ma'am okay now what are some things you like to do for fun uh i like uh hiking i go to a lot of tropical places uh typically i uh, just came up from columbia earlier this year uh, i like uh well snorkeling, traveled. so that's one of, one of my favorite things to do okay uh as well in my free time i have uh, a lot of friends i like to hang out with i live in vegas as well so oh. uh <laughs> <laughs> I, See, uh, he come <laughs> off as a geek nerd, I, uh, but he don't come off as a gay like other dude did. Uh, it's, it's don't come, a lot I don't see the zest in him. So, like, yeah, uh, that I ain't looking for it, but rocks. it ain't standing out. Okay, like, old boy nice. came out there switching. And now, uh, what are some things you look for in a woman? Oh, uh, I would like to start my own family, so uh, hopefully she doesn't have any kids. No offense or anything. Okay. Uh, see, hopefully she's nice. And kind. So none of these got no kids. She's she ain't got no kids she up likes here. She catering, right? So a guy that she connects yeah. with. Mm-hmm. Uh, there is a spark of connection, and uh, the most important thing for me, I'm a hard like... worker, and I want a woman that is also mm. a hard worker too. Okay. The one in the pink. Why was that a part? Oops, oops. <laughs> she kind of remind me now, of. Now, what are um, some deal breakers for you? Uh, like I said earlier, if she has any Melanie kids, Marco, uh, that's, give her the ring. That's the main fiance. Yeah. Uh, the one okay. in the pink up there. She looked right. French like that. So we did get some pops. Let's go on over there and see why they ended up popping. Yes, ma'am. All right, let's start here with your name and age. Hi, I'm Serena. I'm 29. Serena, you should like you pay tennis. Serena, why did you end up popping your balloon? You said you wanted a hardworking woman, and I am not a hard worker. I don't want a job, so (laughs) that's pretty much that. That's cool. (laughs) Um, I'm born to be feminine, not hard. Yeah. You work out. (laughs) Now, prior to him saying that, it was he someone that is your type. He is someone that's my type. Um, I'm actually not trying to go for my type, but you are someone that I would give a chance to. Y'all look yeah. like y'all have some good, strong babies, <laughs> and, uh, man. Uh, Jock, is she someone that's your type? Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. 
Y'all need that's All a right, breeder. So we did get another pop. Well, two more. Somebody need a breed well, here. man. LeBron Your James, you should have bred with that. I'm Tanisha. I'm 29. Hey, he a nerd. He a geek. And Tanisha, why did you end up popping your balloon? So I actually live in Scottsdale, and that is a deal breaker for me. So him, him being in Vegas was a deal breaker. Okay. Yeah. Got yeah. it. Got it. But is he someone that is your type? Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Okay. Nice nice fit and everything. The fit kind <laughs> of <you>. regular. <laughs> and now is she someone that's your type? I'd holler. <laughs> <laughs> I'd holler. Okay. Look at him. He ain't so used to no girls, no, man. Like, it's a yes. Okay, cool, cool. <laughs> yeah, I holler, shit. Let's go on over here. Your name and age. Hi, my name is Kendra. I'm 29. Okay. And Kendra, why did you pop your balloon? For me, it was just the fact that he mentioned he wants a woman to cater, but he also wants, like, a hard worker. And for me, it's like, if you want... You kind of have to choose a lane where it's like, if you want a woman that's going to be a hardworking professional, I love that and I admire that. But if you want a woman that's going to be at home catering to you, she's not going to be out like only so much time in the day. <laughs> but <laughs> you look so good, dressed nice, handsome. He ain't probably oh, you. compliment. Thank you very much. Like, thank you. And now mm -hmm. she's someone that's your type. Yes. Yes. Hey, thank you. <laughs> All right. So we do have four balloons left unpopped. Go ahead and ask these remaining ladies a question just to help you narrow it down. All right. Uh, first All right. question I have. How are you uh, in moments of anger? Like how, how oh, are yeah, you? It's whoop you before. Okay. Oh. Let's start with your name and age and how are you when you're mad? Hi. Is it Josh? Jock. Jock. Yeah, I'm you know sorry. Nigga, Hi, Jock. I'm Layla Elise. I'm 29. Um, the question is, how am I when, I when I'm angry? That's actually a great question. I think it's really important. Um, when I'm angry, I like to be very intentional. Um, figure out, you know, why I'm angry, what's triggering it. But I also think stay calm in those moments. She didn't so listen to I the other two girls beside her talk. It. She tried to sound um, intelligent. Yeah, I think it's really important to stay calm because then in moments of anger, if I'm... Baby, try. Baby, person, try. Um, it also, if I'm calm, it's, it disarms them so they're not angry and now we have a peaceful kind of situation where we can kind of move through whatever conflict it was. So definitely definitely just remaining calm. Okay. All right, let's go on over here. Let's start with your name and age and how are you handle hanger? I'm Jordan, I'm 27, and I am definitely the type of person Young, who I do like space um, when I'm angry. You had a grown I would say when I was younger, like I thought you teenage about years, um, I did struggle with handling my anger, and I feel like now, as an adult who's dealt with that, I do like to have space um, so that we can come back and have a productive conversation. Okay. okay. We'll be back. We'll be back. Let's go on down over here. All right, name and age, and how do you handle anger? My name is Naya, but I go by Naya Monet, and how I, angle, how I handle anger is I like Brown to sugar. Up, like, all my emotions and then revisit the situation, and you know what I mean? That's what it look like, man. And she then I like mosquito. to talk to the person Sorry. I'm angry at them and get down to the bottom of it and then go from there. Okay, okay let's go to our lady who ended up hopping in the balloon. Dang. Your name and age. <laughs> Hi, my name is Candy, and I'm 29. And Candy, why did you pop your balloon? Um, so originally, I was definitely trying to give it some time to just maybe hear a little bit more. Um, and boxy I love outfit your she got on. Choice. Um, I'm an HR professional, certified. In why the should field, he in a horse so turn all the way around looking at her answer? As a professional job, um, but I think initially, just after I kind of thought about it, um, personality-wise, I feel like you might be a little too timid. Um, so I'm just kinda... unsure that our personalities would match. I would disagree if you get to know me, but that's fine. Yeah. You probably wild as hell. You probably play video really games. I am not. <laughs> I'm not. <laughs> you a nerd. See, he doing perfect with this, this shorty so right now, here. Is uh, Candy someone that's your type? Yeah, I like her. I like I like what she's wearing too. I like red. Thank you. I don't like. It ain't fitting right. Candy. <laughs> it's a little too boxy. All like she right. like she like a so, letter H. Hmm. Let me have you ask these ladies another question. All right. Uh, All right. Um. All right, if I was to talk to either of your exes, uh, sorry, I got to bring this up. Uh, how would they like advise me on dating you? Okay. Oh. They didn't want to answer. How would your exes advise him on dating you? Okay. Um, 
I think it would be different depending on who you're talking to because, you know. She's trying to answer for all the women. Nah. Every relationship. Answer the question. Um, and so. Answer the question. I can't even say that. So I guess my last relationship, maybe he'll say that. Hmm, that's a really good See? question. I'm. Y'all women ain't in accountability. Maybe. Cliche. Um. Cushy. What? What the hell? Nope. Little patience. Pushy. Pushy. Yeah, I'll say that. Um. Because what I what I what I used to do was, if. If I don't like something, then I My will is, huh? continue Roll to up. bring it up, right? Instead of having patience and allowing that You're person to work through day. it and develop. And so that was something that I really had to learn. Like, you know, giving cream. people grace, um, waiting, and, you know, things like that. Frozen so, angel. Yeah, that's my answer. That was you going to smoke. This bitch got me frozen in you? time right here. Ah, easy. Uh, frozen. The main thing she would say. Good segue. Frozen uh, angel. Mainly, sorry, like I didn't expect that to be. Yeah, it's a tough question. question. <laughs> <laughs> you asked it and you weren't even ready to answer. All right, I'm ready. All right, bring it. All right, so she would mainly say like uh, I'm a very outspoken person. Uh, I will say what's on my mind. I don't mean any harm at all. I am respectful. Like well, uh, yes, I'm three. Legalize well, it. Uh, have a mother. Like I don't know why, but moms love me. Uh, <laughs> I'm very cool with the dads too. Just saying, and uh, just saying, yeah, like, um, pretty much you see what you kind of get. Like, uh, get a good boy, man. You ain't gonna do no harm to no female, man. Hard hard working, my life as well. Just corny, oriented. I definitely want a family one day. If uh, you're decent looking, brother, you know, and uh, you just don't know it, yeah, yeah. Like, she would definitely say, like, I'm all right, you can get some hoes until you start talking. I don't think like we ended like, on oh, bad Lord, terms. Start talking. We ended on pretty good terms. Is this uh, disagreement as far as like uh, where we were both headed in life? And two, uh, I mean, just extra bonus points. All my other exes, I, uh, I live in other countries, so that's why those ended too. I left the country, so like, most of my relationships with? ended on good terms. Okay. He just a he probably had a yeah, military so at first baby. I was like a little hesitant because you were only listing positive things, and I'm like, you know, that's kind of. A little interesting, but um, okay. What's next? No, you're good. We're gonna go to the yeah, WhatsApp move on, bitch. <laughs> Coors Banquet, the same. Right, they gotta put a beer commercial up to Three, start your legacy. All right, where did we end up popping? Um, so I was really trying to hear you out. Uh, when you first, it was like three things. When you first came out, I picked up on kind of what she said, um, being timid. But uh, this is. That's, that's a natural him. environment and I'm nervous myself so I was like that's him. you know maybe you in a different timid. setting you'll present yourself in a different way Be goofy. Um, but what she also said down there resonated with me as well about the balance between wanting a catering woman versus a hard working woman and if we, we got far enough and I got the chance to ask you a question I actually wanted you to elaborate on that that was kind of the second thing but I wanted to hear you out more before I made that decision but the final straw was really the question i think um a better phrase question would have been like what did you learn from your past relationship <clears throat> not how would my ex guide you into dating me i think that's kind of intrusive so she's feminine also, um she want she want to answer as well so she want to answer the question she want to answer the question <laughs> she want to answer the question right. just, just so say now that. is uh jordan what's the name yeah. is jordan someone that's your type yes yes i like what you're wearing too by the way thank you so much really thank, nice. you. Yeah. thank you thank <laughs> you Someone else did pop. Oh, okay. We'll head back. Someone else did pop on that question. I popped my balloon in regards to the X question only because it's kind of hard to decipher because, you know, you get different versions of people and some people are just seasonal. Mm -hmm. So you could ask someone from my past and they could say, oh, this or that. And then you could also have somebody that has a good experience like, oh, she was the one that got away. I mean, I still he, have You just said the last thing you was with. I'm not saying I'm entertaining anything, you know, but. You probably, are you getting down? You have we to know see you. for yourself because. Because you ain't got too many people beating at your door. If we're on the same exact level, we can so come she to an understanding go. and really get to know each other and be intrigued by each other. You my can't really base did. things off of what somebody in the past says. You have to see for yourself. She's skitty. Okay. Got it. So it don't I'm pay to be skinny these uh, days. Okay. And then before he asked, I don't want no skinny girl like that no more. I like the way he carries himself, and I also like his career choice. He seems like a sophisticated black man, and I love to see 
a black man thriving because you know everybody's different and everybody's at a different level of life. Okay, but I, you know what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I appreciate that. I'm proud Shut of up. you. Keep keep it going. Thank you. Okay. She, she be fucking. She be All fucking. Right, no, you know she's someone she that's do. your type. Nah. Yes. Okay. She the easiest one. Why'd you hesitate a little over there? She fucking too nice. If you get with her. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> she's fucking the night. Yeah, she's goofy. But yeah, she going. She yeah, going. I would, I would talk to her. Though. I would have to get to talk to her a little, like deep to know her a little bit more. But I think I would. Yeah. Yeah. Thank okay. you. Okay. You did pop. Our last hanging balloon did end up popping. Why did we pop? I'm sorry. I. Yeah. So I'm giving it a chance. Um, at first I was a little weary because you did seem way too angel. spoken and like, um, I have a big personality and I feel like I would just, I don't feel like it would mesh. But then when you said you are outgoing, I'm like, okay, he might just be a little, you know, shy in the environment. But like looking, um, looking back at it, I think I just, even in maybe an unnatural environment, I would still want you to show up and be dominant and be, you know what I'm saying? And not, Pressure Y'all don't a, know that dude probably overbearing as fuck. I, I would prefer that. Um, I'm telling you, also, I didn't grew up with kids I like that. That you would probably I, I know deserve him. a woman or want a woman that's probably drooling over you. I think you're attractive, yes, mm -mm. but just a little too slim for me. I like um, maybe like two twenty and up. Oh, that's fine. Mm -hmm. You don't care. <laughs> you gonna get somebody, <laughs> no, man. She's someone that's your type. Uh, yeah, yeah. She's holding on for me. <laughs> oh, that's fine though. <laughs> All right. Well, unfortunately, that is all of the balloons. He, I bet she's goofy Thank as shit. I'm telling you. On. Let's give it Sorry, up bro. Ladies. Thank, Thank you for the experience. Thank you. <laughs> you should have took the woman with the pineapple under the sea head. Swish, Bobby. Okay. That little freak down let's that go ahead and bring dancing. out our next single guy. Okay. Hello, welcome in. What the hell? Oh, hold that. What's your name? <laughs> oh, my name's Antoine. Antoine, how old you said are you? said nigga that had that green, that okay, green vest on one time. I'm a safety specialist. Um, I do private protection on the side. I'm a restaurant investor. Um, if you ever in DC, Horace and Dickies, okay. uh, that's what we uh, invest in. Uh, what is nigga built like that, yo? Nice. Got nice. on skinny and jeans. He's a like big digger. For me, play basketball, watch basketball, learn about myself. Okay. Um, I love to go to the gym. I love to be home. You know, I'm a homebody for real. Uh -huh. Let her travel. Okay. And uh, yeah, that'd be it. Got it. Now, what are some things you look for in a woman? Someone who's built off affirmations and self love. Because I feel like that's a strong woman. You know? Affirmations and self love. Someone who knows exactly what they want and where they're going. Got it. Got it. Now, what are some of your deal breakers? Deal breakers someone who isn't, who's angry, you mm -hmm. know, all the time, uh, who isn't humble, who isn't nice, who isn't kind, um, and who just, I guess, don't have no motivation and desire to be better okay you know, i would say okay sure. nice so we don't have any pop balloons yeah. you're doing well that's a big nigga they like hell no nah. <laughs> all right so for the first round i am gonna have you pop two balloons okay. just off of what you're seeing so far oh, it's not really your type so let me big foot okay. and little skinny mini down there sure. there you go and then her arms long as shit okay no you're good do whatever i do go ahead and Mosquito. pop those two and then i'll ask you why i ended up popping pretty okay he going to get mosquito, and he going to Pop get yeah. yeah mosquito. Okay, and then one more. Look, he, she knows her. She okay. knows her. Red, Let's you next. Right here. <laughs> we can have your name and age. I'm Tanisha. I'm 29. And Tanisha, why did you have your balloon unpopped? Um, I just wanted to hear him out. I feel like who is Leon? This is Leon is from um, a the Temptation. Hit, David Ruffin. And that's um, Leon's like son. I've heard so far, so yeah. Hey, Tion, that's and Tion. That's tall, Leon. Tall, little Leon. Leon, Leon, Leon tall. Um, just you know, just not my type. Okay. Um, big on energy, you know. So for me, I'm a no. You know. That's hey, he for the go with nobody. Mm -hmm. He for the come off to Eric. And the bitches ain't gonna like this. Let's head on over here. Let's start with your name and age. My name is Nai. Well, Naya, but I go by Naya Monet. I'm 26. And why did you um, have your balloon unpopped? I had it unpopped because I, he's a smooth talker. And you she know what I'm saying? In the car you know, you show, hear I'm green flags you. and you also hear red flags. But um, anyways, he's a smooth talker. So I was interested in listening to what I was hearing. Shred, shred, um, but yeah, them pants are a little too tight to me. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Uh, hey, don't, okay. hey, hey, don't, no, don't, hey, we end up popping her All right, now, if he gets you back. Wasn't my type, you know. Get her um, back. I'm not, I'm not here to go viral from disrespecting no females. So, oh, okay. I mean, just not my preference. I'm not yours. Well, I was yours, but my jeans is a little too tight, but that's fine. Feelings mutual, baby. I appreciate it. <laughs> appreciate you have it. a nice smile. Appreciate it. Okay. 
Let's head on back. Hey, boy. Okay. He said, I ain't here so to go. He said, I ain't here to go viral. I'm just speaking on one. Ladies, a question. I'm just, you had that um, one. How's your mental health? Like, because I feel like you have to be mentally healthy to even start a friendship or relationship or anything. Like Good. That. Okay. All right. Let's start here. With Hi. your name and age and then answer this question. Hi. Um, first of all, you smell amazing. Oh, You're lighting yeah. up the entire room. Appreciate you. Um, my mental health is... Your name. He doesn't know your oh, name. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You've been mesmerized. My mental health is phenomenal. Um, I work on it daily. I'm very big on self-mastery, self-growth. I read a lot. That's literally my world. Um, and so what I realize is that if I don't work on myself and develop myself, I'll continue to be miserable, unhappy, angry, frustrated, you know, being in bad situations. Yeah. So it was really crucial for me to start that journey and I've been on it for a while. So I think I'm in a phenomenal I think I'm smoking space. the right shit for her. I love that. Mm -hmm. sure. She born as shit. Let's go over here with your name and age and ask this question. GQ, hey, I'm Serena, born. I'm 29. And uh, my mental health is really great. Uh, the gym has helped me with a lot of my mental health hey y'all need to I'm hey, still working on daily y'all need to hook um, up it's just patience both, both so us. i don't tolerate anything that's toxic or negative She'll simply because i'm a calm person and um i'm very spiritual so anything that's <coughs> on my soul or spirit <coughs> I'm my life. so i'm, I'm if they I'm serious they need to go and hook up make some babies that's negative lebron but the third overall, my mental health is great it's amazing all right <laughs> Bounty Mega Roll, four rolls in one. UFC 306. Buy it on ESPN Plus. Oh, man, no TV. Name and age and answer this question. I'm Jordan. I'm 27, and I'm actually a licensed therapist. And I don't wow. share that to say that you should assume that my mental health is great because of that. But I, I think I'm qualified answers. to be able to answer the question. And I have good days and bad days. You know, I've made a career out of pouring into other people's cups, and sometimes that leaves yours empty. And so I um, am working on being more intentional about that. But a great release for me is basketball. Actually, I'm a washed-up retired hooper. Um, I love, <laughs> I love the game, um, and so that helps me a lot. I'm very conscious the of my left, boy, this. because of my profession. So, okay. so I'm standing on. Um, I play basketball as well. I don't care y'all feel, I dunk on you though. What position? <laughs> what position? One through four. Yeah. So. I do a little every day. Point four. Five. What did you do well? Pass the ball, be a good leader. <laughs> good leader. Um, I was always a leader in everything I've done. So, yeah. I was a point guard. Okay. I was more assistant points as well. Okay. Okay. Get out of here. Y'all try that? You ain't gonna have a better baby question. with that damn. Hi, uh, my name is Candy and I'm 29. Stay you down there. And I would say my mental health is well. I'm really glad that you brought that up and asked that question. You are the I race, am an affirmation shorty. girly. So I have about 20 affirmations that I go through daily and I, I speak to myself. Um, and I also started a jar um, that I, don't I like this outfit you got have happened to me throughout the year. The color and good, but it don't. It, at the end of the year, I will read it to myself. Plus, you got on Santa's play. jumpsuit. So the suit he got underneath his shit. He put that on, then he throw on the big coat and all, go do his thing. Making sure our mental health that is ain't, good. That ain't slimming yeah. enough, though. I need to see okay. more. And shape we did get a pop balloon. See how the girl in the back, her shit look she look more shapely. Hi, I'm Kendra. I'm 29. He's too strong for you. I know you're like probably shocked by this. Um, we follow each other on social media. I know you're from a past episode. For me, the pop balloon was not from here. It's from how I perceived after you came off the episode. I I work in a very like um, exposed industry, and so like how my partner represents me is really important and. I want someone that's like the kind of like act like you've been there before and after you came off your episode it was like all thirst traps like I just get the feeling that like you're enjoying the fact that so many women thought you were so attractive because you are you're on paper like chef's kiss but I just need someone Shut who up, is man. focused on I, mean, I can't help the way I look get out of here woman's admiration get out of here okay. you know you know you ain't a Can queen no way way. Go ahead. Yes. um I get how it could be seen. I mean, looks can be deceiving, you know? I just love myself unconditionally. Boom! So it may be seen like I'm first trapping, but I don't comment on anybody who's sending me messages or sending me comments under my pictures. You be pinning those comments, though. Because I think they're funny. 
at the end of the day, at the end of the day, if somebody's giving you affirmations, right, and you think they are good affirmations, thank you. Fine. Fine. You know, but my social media is for me, and if my partner had an issue with that, we could talk it out. It ain't that deep for me, for real. Um, I, I feel that. like I'm representing myself well. That's what I'm talking about. He said he loved him. My last name means a lot to me. That's a legacy to me. You know, so if it, my partner felt like something. Dog Walker. Dog Walker. Her, 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 her. I respect that. Yeah. 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 All right. Let's head back. He said I love the way I look. Okay, Shit. So you can't help that. Of those this responses for me. You heard, I am going to have you. So, yes, I pinned the comments in the hole saying I look good. I like them pictures. I <laughs> Shit. I knew it. I knew it was out okay, of here, Red. So why did we end up popping hers? I knew it was out of here. She has a great energy and aura about her. Pink like, necks. It's between the damn me. Buster Rhymes haircut. I need to feel more. And, and I felt um, it, But I just need more for me. You black. Know, you look great. Boom, Your response was amazing. Away. Thank you. Top tier for sure. And you yeah. look great. Nice Thank smile. You. Um. So yeah, that's pretty much it. She looked okay. great though. Got it. And so why did you have your balloon unpopped for him? Um, so definitely there's a physical attraction. Um, I like the tattoos. I like that you're tall, a little buff. I see you being in the gym. A little bit. Uh, you know. A little bit. Um, but yeah, I think that um, just kind of hearing him out and his responses and the affirmations was a big thing for me. Um, so yeah, I was just kind of waiting. You want confirmation of his? Okay. Yeah. Ain't nothing wrong with loving yourself. Okay, let's I get go called ahead a narcissist all day. Because I love some me. Ladies, um, are you happy? The reason I ask that is because I feel like before you can make somebody else happy, you have to be happy. Wow. I feel like a lot of people depend on somebody else's happiness. You're right, that's what RuPaul up. say. How the hell are you going to love somebody else when you don't love yourself? But, RuPaul. Yeah, I just really need to know. And with that, what is that to you? Okay. Happiness. Start over here. Okay. Okay, answer this question, please. Can I ask you to specify? I feel like you said, are you See, happy? She's too deep. That in a general sense, but she'll argue more she ar in a relationship. She'll argue yeah. too much. Are you, are you she already a, like, a mental chick. Are you happy enough to even enter a relationship? I argue. Uh, is happiness to you? Okay. I would say I'm happy, but not content. And I mean that in the general sense. I'm like, God damn, you're trying to therapize me all day. So, um, I, I, and why I'm do you think I'm therapizing you? I'm happy with who I am. This therapy is not a word. Right? I think there's always room for growth for sure okay. for sure all right cool yeah you can have some, some tito's after that come on let's go over here uh, i feel like i'm a very happy person um i'm happy with myself i love myself Stand strong. um so i actually do like the fact that you love yourself the way that you do because i do want a man that's like that um so i would definitely say i'm i'm happy with everything where I'm at now, I would say um, something that would make me happier is to become a family woman. So, <laughs> yeah. so yeah, just build my own family or you build our family and I, I nurture our family. So, yeah. Yeah. Sure. <laughs> sure. yeah. Hey, she keeps saying, look, she would have been asked why somebody going to take up on off. Um, in this moment, I'm very happy. Hips, Generally, I'm a happy person, bubbly, energetic. <laughs> um, mm -mm. There are moments where, you know, I'm not happy. I might feel sadness or, you know, different types of emotions. But the good thing is that I'm able to still be. I'm still able to accept myself and be content in those moments. I can't believe Shorty came from down there. I, I, really I see you on the past episode. Because if we aren't always, you know, content like the way in those you moments and accepting yourself. and appreciating, right? We're always going to want more. We're always, we're never going to be satisfied. Sure. So I think it's important <coughs> to be, you know, satisfied with where you are now, even if that's not where you want to be. Mm -hmm. Gosh, for sure. I know you guys want to hear from him too, right? Yeah. What about for yourself? <laughs> what makes me happy is, you know, being there for everybody else. You know, that right there is why I do it every day. Um, boy, my mother raised me. If um, him and Shorty in the orange get a baby, before, that so boy's going to be like, yeah, wait. Um, and again, seeing myself grow. He got a deep voice and showed the Shorty. You know, so seeing other people win. I don't care if it's a friend, somebody I don't know. If they're doing good, I'm happy. Okay. So, yeah, that's what makes me happy, just being there for others. All right, you got to pop okay. a balloon. Antoine, well, yeah. it is time to pop a balloon. Which one out of these three beautiful ladies are you going to pop? You got some choices. Orange. <laughs> she talked too much. You guys are making it hard for him. Yeah. Damn right. <laughs> this is amazing. It's like the Super Bowl for him. He like, 
Stop looking at me like that. <laughs> orange. Got to get rid of orange. Okay. I mean, I saw that was really tough, but why did we end up popping hers? That was tough. Um, energy, great. You have a great aura about you as well. Thank you. Um, it wasn't no real specific reason. These ladies look at me in my eyes like they're trying to take something from me. These two. And that's pretty much what it was. Uh, they look but, thirsty. Uh, you can't out this. She's great, though. Yeah, Man, she nice. looked great. She looked so great. why did you have your balloon unpop for him? Um, he smelled really good coming out. Like, <laughs> <laughs> just lit up the room. Um, and you are very handsome. Well put together. I love your outfit, even oh, though sure. I do not prefer my man to wear. Are those jeans considered jeans? These are these jeans. Yeah, <laughs> I would um, prefer my man to wear it, but I know clothes are changeable. Yeah. And uh, oh, you're, you're, you're left-handed. <laughs> sure. So left-handed people sure. are really smart. <laughs> for sure. <laughs> so, yeah. Appreciate it. Let's head on back. Wait, hold up. Can I ask you a question? Oh, Where go you for it. I'm from Chicago. You're from Chateau? Yeah. Okay. I ain't changing my swag for nobody, though. Oh, <laughs> what that mean? I ain't going down because you said, I, <laughs> you said, oh, cause okay. you said um, we could change that. Yeah. Well, no, I said clothes are changeable, So, oh. which means you, one day you could wear jeans, another day you could wear slacks, or, oh, gotcha. you know, whatever you oh, prefer. Right. Yeah. Oh, okay. But I just don't prefer She's jeans, smart, man. jeans all the time. Oh, no, I don't wear jeans all the time, but yeah. I appreciate it. She's smart. She said, nope. <laughs> I say clothes are changeable. That All right, our <laughs> two remaining ladies. Any questions for our guy? She said yes. I'll go to her first. All right, let's start here. Do you have a relationship with God? Absolutely. Can you, can My you? God is Muslim. My okay. God is Allah. Allah sent me here to be king. I am king? Christian, but I, I personally believe there's one God, and mm -hmm. you know you can serve Him how you choose to. Mm -hmm. uh, but so, can you elaborate on your relationship with God? Um, talk to Him every day. Um, it's a build. It's a work in progress, just like everybody. Do, am I faithful with my prayings and my dealings? I can't say I am, but I believe he loves me because how I am every day in everyday life. Um, I give good to people, and uh, that's what he asks: be a good person, uh, give yourself back to the community, and things like that. For sure. I appreciate your vulnerability, sure. saying where you lack. Sure. Thank you. See, I'm like, no, just ugh, ugh. I couldn't fuck with you. Any questions here? If she start, if yes, she follow, does she love you? What? Okay, the first one is, what is something? What's a flaw about you? Maybe something that you feel like you need to work on. Uh, okay, I thought it was a two part. Uh, <laughs> they're completely different. One okay. at a time. Yep. <laughs> um, I would say caring too much. You know. Oh Lord! You care about a lot of people, and uh, forget about yourself, because you're pouring in everybody else's cup. You, hey, that's a good answer. That's a, a good lot. answer. I'm pouring myself a lot, but sometimes you can go out your way a lot as well. You what know, does, that's a flaw. Oh, what does forgetting about yourself look like? Forgetting about myself. Uh, Helping everybody first. So basically, I guess you would say. Helping everybody. If I'm, if somebody needs me, I'm on call, you know, and I'll forget about this stuff that I have going on. Mm -hmm. It could be finishing, uh, I guess, talking to family. Somebody, like, it, it just depends on what it is, honestly. I, understand I, 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 I can understand what he's exactly saying. He said that a lot, a lot of his answers about okay. giving or helping. Um, he could be that way. Political views, Kamala or Trump? Oh, my God. I ain't going to hold you. I'm not with none of that. Okay. That's what I'm talking about, yeah. I ain't going to lie. I'm not into the politics. That's um, what's up. They I separate like people. They're going to choose who they want. Yeah, they and is. Yeah, they is. It's not up to us to decide that. It sure right. Okay. Don't get into none of that, man. All right. I'm well. good with that. <laughs> we do no politics, it is man. the final round. It is time to decide which one out of these two ladies, Balloon, are you going to pop? She talked too much, man. Oh. Okay. Why did we end up popping hers? Is she looking through my soul? <laughs> It's a good thing. It's a good thing. Look, she's looking like, what does he mean? <laughs> she, that's cute. Um, that's cute. Honestly, um, I love your answers. I love your eye contact. Mm -hmm. You actually had me thinking over here for real. So you challenged me in a way. Oh, my questions. Yes, you like that my was questions. outstanding for sure. Mm -hmm. um, I love people who can challenge me. Yeah. You know, because that doesn't happen. This bitch for the challenge the shit out um, of you. So that's pretty much it. You look great. You came. You look amazing. Okay. And you popped because? Just energy. My I energy. felt like your energy was great, but 
Uh, okay, yeah. I got you. Yeah. I got you. <laughs> but she want to know why I lose. All right, let me have why a scrum that way. Let me bring you on up here. Come on up. Come on up. All right. <laughs> Any final questions between the two of you before she we She has some little bird legs, set? little chicken. Do. Um, do you have children? I have no children. Okay. Uh, where do you live? In New Jersey. Okay. You're good. Well, do you have kids? I don't. Where do you live? I'm nomadic, so I <laughs> work fully remote, and so I travel. Okay, I'm nomadic. nomadic. We reside. reside. I, right now, in Texas, but that's only for a couple more weeks. And um, then you'll be where? My next we're, stop we're, is we're Louisiana. Louisiana. Where the winds takes me. Okay. Um, like a fire sun. How do you <laughs> feel about long distance? Um, I guess it would depend on the person. Okay. So that means you're open to it. Absolutely, and I like travel, a moth to so the flame, burned by I the can fire. Be where I, I want to be, you know. That's some Jetta Jackson type shit, right? Sure. That's the All right. way love All right, y'all. So, is it gonna be a yes for you for him? That's the way love goes. <laughs> is it a yes for you for her? Yes. We got our man. Nah, this ain't for the work. This ain't for the work. <laughs> I will take this mic, and you guys can go. This nigga oh, in Jersey. Let's make some noise for them. He oh, in Jersey. Let me get out the way. He is from Jersey. She from Texas. We're going to Louisiana. Nomadic. <laughs> All right. So, let's go ahead know. and bring out our next single guy. Hello. Nomadic. Welcome in. What's your name? Uh, uh, Billy Serrano. Thomas. Thomas, how old are you? Oh, 32. And what do you do? Uh, I work for a clean energy company as a buyer, and I'm in the Army National Guard, and I am a bartender. Nice. Well, thank you for your service. <laughs> and now, uh, what are some things like to do for fun? Uh, you know, go play sports, watch video <laughs> games. That's pretty much it. Okay. <laughs> go Simple play guy. sports yes. and watch right. video games. And now, uh, what are some things you look for in a woman? Um, they need to be kind, a woman, a guy. Um, I prefer somebody who is going to be understanding mm -hmm. and actually have a conversation with someone. You know, I think I like their shirt. Always, I rock look the shit out of their shirt. I like that. That shirt kind of dope. Understand the person you're with, rather than you know have some fairy tale in your head. Okay, got it. Now, what are some of your deal breakers? Um, they need to be clean. Okay. <laughs> um, uh, and they need to be understanding. Mm. Most importantly. Well, I um, need for you and other than that, uh, that's pretty much it. Thing. Got it. All right. So we did get two pop balloons. Let's go on over there and see why they ended up popping. Okay, if we can start with your name and age. Hi, Thomas. My name is Candy, and I'm 29. Like cool. Is that nice cool? And C Candy, why did you end up popping your balloon? So initially, that car, the um, I'm not a fan of the earrings, um, but I, you know, wanted to give it a, an opportunity to hear more about what you had to say. And I think for me, it was the video games. I'm not like big on guys playing video games, so. I ain't yeah, really here to play no me. games. Yeah. I don't All right, know. now Come Thomas, on. is Candy someone that's your type? Oh, absolutely. But I mean, somebody who doesn't like my earrings or my style, I mean, I really can't do nothing for her. Right. All right. <laughs> now we did get one over here. Okay, and then we'll go back to those. Your name and age and why you ended up popping your balloon. Hi, my name's Kendra. I'm 29. I popped my balloon just because you look great attractive i appreciate how you came here and gave effort today but i'm just not a woman of god so i want to make sure that you find Devil. your match in every way so i don't think it's me no she's someone that's physically your type i know you said woman of god is something up there but oh no she's definitely my type but at the same time i mean you. you under you understand like i understand so i appreciate your honesty i appreciate you Okay, thank you. Yeah. And then let's so you go back to our other two. Your name and age and why you ended up popping your balloon. Hey, I'm Serena. I'm 29. And um, I popped my balloon because of the video game comment as well. I was waiting for you to elaborate a little bit more when she did speak on the video games, whether uh, you play them a lot or not. They're like, nah, I ain't finna get stuck with this goof. I to play video games either way. And he gonna yeah. it's between it's between um so our video the Bigfoot like and then Mosquito. Or is it every now and then? This they speed. Uh, no, I mean uh kind of <laughs> came out here extremely hungry. So uh, uh that's kind of the reason that, you know, it kinda came out just as short. But it no, I mean again it's find his mate. Things, that just kinda came to my mind when that happened. So mm -hmm. Okay. 
He for the fire his mate for life. Between yeah. the Not little itty bitty thing and down there. Cause somebody, he got to leave with something. Right, he want to leave with something. Cop, your name and age and why you ended up And they do too. <laughs> Layla Elise, I'm 29. This last um, call for I'm alcohol. Balloon. Well, for starters, I really love your top. I love your outfit. And your face is beautiful. You're very handsome. Come on, But man. I I really can't do a dingly earring. Like it's a deal breaker. Oh, Lord, this what he. Then you said, yes, you said something. Like you seemed like you were very stubborn on that when someone else said it so they're coming for that earring oh no um <laughs> that's crazy um, you know some you know, that nigga got a damn keychain key you know, hanging from his ear know, if an earring is what turns you off about somebody that kind of shows me that it's not you got an earring not much that you look this is a swiss army it's knife but, can i ask a question go ahead like what inspired you to to get it <laughs> um, this is business man this well, is style two necklaces of angels on my chest um one is for my child that didn't make it. The other one is for Frozen my daughter that did. Okay. Um, okay. So uh, other than that, you know, the feather kind of represents just the uh, angel wings that I wear. Pretty much it. That's his style, man. He got his little cool motherfucking dead ring. Now, Leave him uh, alone. Is someone that's your type? Oh, absolutely. I, I do like the dress. I don't like the bottom portion, which is, I guess it's a flare. But my other than, <laughs> yes. But again, you look beautiful. Thank you. Way. Thank you. So, so we do have uh, two balloons. Yeah, get left back on with her. Like, yeah, I like you. Let's go ahead and ask these ladies a question. See if any of them are your match. They're trying to right. make a show um, out of this. This last call for can alcohol. You tell me what your ambition is. Okay. Ambition. Tailgates are better with Sam Adams. Nah, October come on. Fest. Maybe I am a morning person. It's Sam season. Hey, this last call for Start alcohol. Here with your name and age, and what's your ambition? My ambition. Oh, okay. name and age. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Tanisha. I'm 29. My ambition is to live the dream, and that is to basically own a house. Okay. And own you know, some land, a property. I see. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. She adored she adored and, just like it. Hey, y'all, um, this would be a good match for y'all. I'm yeah. sorry. No, you're good. Yeah. That's your- yeah, that's, that's your that's, that's, your that's my dream. That's, that's, that's the dream. That's okay. the dream. Let's okay. go to our next lady. Your name and age and the answer to his question. My name is Nai Monet and I'm 26 and my ambition is to open up a spa. I'm in the beauty and wellness industry and I love to make people feel beautiful. Okay, that's make them feel beautiful. my goal and my ambition. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Ladies, she any questions for him? Ask night, you better pick up. Let's, let's start here. We'll be back. Oh. Sorry. Did you say you had kids? I have a daughter. Yeah. You have a daughter? Okay. Sorry. Uh, okay. Kids are a deal breaker. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry. Got it. So prior to um, that, um, is he someone that is? She for the weird by the fault. I think that he is. Brown sugar. Sugar. And he sugar. He just do it taste so, so, so good. good. Okay. Absolutely. And now is she someone that's your type? Brown sugar. Just yes, like I but knew. I'll be honest knew. with you. Uh, a house is pretty say, low yeah, on the list yeah, of things. Yeah. You know, but uh, I guess the American dream is whatever you make it so. Absolutely. Thank you. Got it. Let's go down over here. You had a question for him. I work with kids. How old are your kids or how old is your child? Uh, she's two. She's two. Okay, that's a little fresh. That would be different for me. Um, hmm. You ain't the mama, bitch. What is your she comment look, on she family like, life? She like, Why do you choose to be single and not with she's like the Anthony Davis. family that you made a family with? If you don't mind me asking. That's not a stretch. Just out of curiosity, we could talk behind closed doors. And y'all I understand. Um, y'all are dragging because, this. Because um, you're raising a child, no matter how you know much you want to be with that person, mm. if you guys are not compatible, all it's going to do is make you both angry and it's going to affect mm. the child. So I'd rather be with somebody that I love and I'm happy with mm. so I can reflect on my child rather than be with someone just to hold up some sort of standard that the world puts on us. Okay. And then at the end of the day, kind of make her into a piece of shit. That's understandable because I'm a foster parent. I'm not a biological parent. Like I said, I worked with the kids. I worked with the kids before, and I do. Um, but like I said, I'm a foster parent, so I can understand that because I know personally me, if I have a child, I'm allergic to latex. Okay, so if I have a child Bro. with somebody, I have but a child with anybody. Yeah, they would have anybody. Me personally, I won't be with anybody I won't have a child with. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, that's a big responsibility. There's some people in the world that I would make a father, yeah, but I would not make a husband. She that's probably would pre me. You know she would pre me that made but it, you know, y'all. You understand what I'm saying? I definitely you get what I'm saying. saying. I definitely would Okay, <laughs> okay. Well, hopefully we can talk about that. Okay. She want to hit raw. We're good. Any further questions? 
Where are you from? I don't think. I'm from Michigan. You from but Michigan? But I've been here for a while. Where are you from? Indiana. Okay. Midwest. Yes. Okay. So you know what it's like to live in the snow? Sadly, yes. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. All right. Well, let's go on up to the front. Come but on from the up. Midwest. Come on up. Come on. Yeah. Why are you looking shy? Get up here, girl. <laughs> you looking shy. Hey, look at that. Stand here. <laughs> let's, uh, let's... She won, y'all. All right. So are there any final questions before we determine if this is a match? Hmm. I don't have any. Maybe he has some. Do you have any? Oh, yeah. I actually have one. Like, Good. <laughs> oh. Yeah, I did have a question. Um, Y'all yeah, nerding this shit out. So yes. tell me, how you feel about dating somebody with kids? That would definitely be something new to me. I know in the past I dated somebody who was a, I don't want to call him a self-proclaimed stepfather, but he was a stepfather to someone Didn't y'all just hear this conversation down there? It didn't really bother me. Like I said, I'm a foster parent, and even I have friends who have kids, and I take them in as if they're my own. Y'all walked over here. Like, I'll babysit them, I'll watch them, I'll help out financially, because, you know, I don't have any biological children. So I I am a empath, I am a giver, but I know my limits, okay? (laughs) You got to know your limits. Um, that would be something new to me. Um, Y'all dragging me. I don't think this. I necessarily dated someone who had kids that I knew of, you know. So that would be something different. Like I said, I work with kids. I love kids. Um, sure. You're open to it. I. This is something new to me because before I'd be like, Mm-mm, I would not date nobody with kids. Like I've said that before. She annoying. I'm just like, you know, scientifically, you know, if you have kids with somebody, like the woman is still y'all are still messing with each other. Like that's how it goes how it seems to have gone you know with the culture and how things are today in today's society but i would be open to it if it's like mature and you know we have conversations and if there's boundaries then i would be open to it if there is you know some type still of talking. co-parenting arrangements and agreements because i don't play with my health i'm gonna have to see that my chart too right, girl <laughs> okay so you look like you're thinking real hard what's going through your mind just some of the things that she said. Okay. Um, and I appreciate your willingness and openness. I know you still do. talk. And I think that's beautiful that anybody who would be willing to have a foster child, to be 100% honest with you, if I'm able to have another child, who, which is a son, I would love to adopt a child because, you know, I think everybody deserves a parent. So, um, yeah. Okay. Well, is it going to be a yes for you for him? Yes. Okay. And is it a yes for you for her? No. Okay. Um, oh, my it's God. It's a very honest and very straightforward reason. <laughs> and I appreciate that. I really do. And it's a really straightforward reason. Um, during our whole conversation, it was more about I'm okay with this and I'm okay with that and I'm okay with this. And it kind of seemed more of a, a selfish desire than a how so when i'm being open and i just said that i never really dated somebody that had their own kids oh it's not about the I elaborate never really, on that so i can of understand of course, i want to have a better understanding so we can be so is this a play about, hey i am mm-hmm. open to dating somebody with kids and i'm mm-hmm. more open about that it's more of a hey this is what i'm comfortable with this mm-hmm. is what i've seen this is how i've Percep, you know, never perception wise or anything, never it seen it a before. New experience. So new now, experience not all, open to it is this exactly. an improv comedy it's group? It's that easy to be not open to it. Mm-hmm. You were never open to it in the first place. Okay. 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 All right. Well, have you head on back. Thank you. Take the walk back, okay. bitch. Well, <laughs> take the walk. We do thank you for coming on. Let's go ahead and give it up for him, ladies. I'll take the mic. Thank you. Look, they clap. They clap. They. they uh. some soft boppers. <laughs> Are you self-employed and dreaming of owning a home? Trust Financial Group specializes no, in mortgages tailored. Right. Okay, let's go ahead and oh, bring out another, our next single guy. Oh my God, this is the last one. Got to be the last one. We'll see. Oh, we'll see this, man. Hello, welcome in. I'll have you hold that. Oh, Lord. What's your name? You. My name is Leron. Leron, how old are you? Leron. And what do you do? Well, what do I do? Uh, there's a lot of things. I'm okay. a fashion they designer. They pop off gate for that. Here chef most importantly and currently working on real estate okay very cool now uh what are some things oh you like God. to do for fun uh some things i like to do for fun uh, i'm very adventurous so i like to go out um hiking sports anything outdoors he okay. cared in the first and dude are, uh what are some things to look for in a woman some things i look for a woman uh, honesty communication um good energy mm-hmm. 
Yeah, that's about it. Okay. That's all and I need. Where you got his arms crossed? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, what are some of your deal breakers? Uh, some of my deal breakers, lack of communication, obviously. Mm. Um, attitude. Um, and that was really the two final ones. Yeah, that's two. All, that's I all that comes need, to I don't even know. Right. So we did get a few pop balloons. Mm-hmm. Let's go on over there, see why they ended up popping. Okay. Let's start with your name and age. Hi, I'm Layla Elise. I'm 29. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you as well. Okay, Layla Elise, why did you end up popping your balloon? Um, are those your real eyes? <laughs> okay. <laughs> no, these are not my real eyes. Okay. You in contest? <laughs> um, it's just... I think the physical attraction, the style, mm. the dangly earring. Okay. It's shirt nasty. I'm sorry. That's fine. I'm not everybody's cup of tea. It's fine. <laughs> and now, is she someone that's your type? Yeah, she's a beautiful lady, for sure. Thank you. I appreciate it. Somebody put him up to this. I would have to say no. Okay. But Some, you are beautiful. Somebody put him Thank up you. to this. Mm-hmm. Let's go to go with me. Over here. I'll go with you. Age. That's what they both hey, did. Him and the first Serena. dude. How you doing, Serena? I'm fine. And Serena, why did you end up popping your balloon? Ended up popping because of the contacts. Mm. I'm not a big fan of men wearing color contacts at all. Okay. So, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right. And now, is Serena someone that's your type? Why ain't nobody saying? <laughs> okay. And why not? Honestly, it's the hair for me. Dudes, you don't like the locks, it. so you just don't like the style. I just don't like the style. The locks are beautiful, though. Thank you. Mm-hmm. Right? Is is it, you can't call people? Is, <laughs> you can't call nobody. Okay. Is it out in them? You're or you're not a allowed to accuse somebody? Candy. I'm 29. Hi, Candy. How you doing? Because I think all them females would have called him. Why did you end up popping your zest? Um, just ditto some of the things that the ladies have already said. I think it's the contacts, um, the earring, and yeah, those. I think just overall style. The shirt nasty. I can respect that. That's fine. Like I said, I'm not everybody's cup of tea. That's fine. No worries. All right. Now is uh, Candy someone that's your type? I like Candy. She's cute. <laughs> oh my God, she cute. That's the, that's the, oh, who they got this? Go they they got this dude out in the audience or something. Maybe. Like, yo, you got to hey, I'm Tanisha, you I'm ran 29. out of dudes today. You got to come up here. Tanisha, why did you end up popping your balloon? Um, just some of the things that the, the lady said as well. Yeah. He pranking um, y'all, yeah. Just not my style and not my type. He's gonna do a cartwheel, <laughs> bitch! I didn't come for none of y'all. No way. I just wanted to get on the show. My album type. coming out I soon. Mean, she's I am. But I would have to pass this one. <laughs> Okay. Is there anything specific? That no, there's no specific. It's got to be. Know, a, it's got to be a my, gag at the end type. of this shit. Okay. All right, cool. Thank you. But you are beautiful, though. Don't get it twisted. Okay. <laughs> Don't get it twisted. You are beautiful. All right. Your name and age, and why you ended up popping your balloon? Hi, I'm Kendra. I'm 29. I actually love the contacts. I love the creativity. That's like up my alley. It's more just like, for me at this age, too many. <laughs> Come on, shorty. Redeem yourself with, with, with the black on. I think at this I think point, he gay. Like, That's why I popped the balloon. Somebody got to say that. Is as like a relationship, and somebody I want to be able it. to like understand what you love and your passions and everything. And if you're kind of headed a hundred miles an hour in eight different directions, sometimes so am I. So it's gonna get real disorganized. <laughs> so you don't really care what you got to say. You try to come from a man's and then back to. Yeah, you did mention like eight different careers. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> do you usually always like branch off and no, different things? No, those are just things that I do that I have under my belt. I don't do all of them at the same time. Oh, okay. I got think it. I got a shirt similar to that, <laughs> man. I got to be open, right? You know, I think I got a black, I got a black and white one like that. I do and what I can't do. And those are the things I can't do, and that's all it is. Okay. <laughs> that was kind of someone that's your type. I gotta find it, man. Thank you. I gotta find Thank it. You. <laughs> right, let's go into our last lady Where's here. Your name and age, and why you ended up popping your balloon. My name is Naimo Nay. I'm 26. I couldn't really hear much of what he was saying over there, so that was another factor with speaking up, or maybe it's the mic. Um, I really wasn't too sure about what you were saying. So what is it that you do? Z. What do I do? Yes, what, what were you saying? saying? I do over hair. There. Yes. Can you hear me I now? Is this yes, fine? I can okay. hear you. This is fine. fine. I'm a fashion designer. Okay. I do audio I do video production. Cool. And I'm a chef as well. Okay. Mm-hmm. Bitch, so I be cooking. Purpose? What is your direction? My purpose oh, right God. now is really cooking. That's okay. my thing. That's what I like to do. I please people without talking to them. That's my way of working through this world right now. I can dig it. Okay. I can see him on a friendship level. Mm. Mm-hmm. Okay. Got mm-hmm. it. So he's, he's he's not your type. You see him just as friend. Okay. Friendship level for sure. Yeah. He seems like a cool person. I would I would agree with that for sure. For sure. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. All right, cool. Girl, Thank we can hang out. This type, but I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Personally, that's just my yeah, opinion, but yes. Okay. Let's head on back. Mm. All right. Well, that is all the balloons popped, unfortunately, but we do thank you for coming on. Let's go ahead and give it up for him, ladies.
I'll take this mic. Thank you. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you. <laughs> and they ain't clapping for nobody, did they? Thank you, everyone, for tuning into this episode of Pop the Balloon. Hey, man, y'all seen it, man. They came, they saw, they conquered. Yo, this was a crazy episode. First of all, <clears throat> I think that first dude, and I think they last dude. They was kind of on the damn, I don't know, I ain't calling nobody out. But, yo, that's what I think. They just looked like they wasn't there for women. Um, I like the confidence of my dude. He had when they when that woman tried to get on him like I seen you on the last episode. Man, like, bitch, I'm cute. And I like it. I like how I look. And I like blah, blah, blah. I like that. That so he stood up for himself. Um, the women was bad. I liked them. They had a couple of bad ones in there, and they had yo. Big shout out to all of them, man. Y'all heard me judge them. I'm done with it, man. If y'all want to see me any other time, man, I go live every Friday at 9 p.m. Man, I do a live show on Friday nights at 9 p.m. right here on this channel. Minutes to the future. We just got done doing pop the balloon. But find love episode 21, man. Y'all fuck with your boy, man. We're gonna do this again Friday, man. Hit that like button, comment button, share button, subscribe button, notification bell. All them good buttons you gotta hit to get this pimping that I'm putting out when I put it out. But like I said, I go live every Friday at 9 p.m. Come through, join the conversation. I'll let your boy, Heist Man the Foe, talk that talk, ghetto news and opinions. This is a dangerous group, is it? groups that we're dealing with now. All right. This time, but I'll be back. And sooner than you think. Wherever there's prejudice, ignorance, inequality, I'll be there.